Okay, welcome back to another episode of our Gilders One playthrough. We ended up in the first outpost of the Emberlight Camp. Uh, first outpost of the Ring of Fire, that is. And we are almost ready to continue on here, but not quite. What I want to do today is go all the way back to Copper Hammer Mines, going back to the Southern Shipper Peaks, because we need to capture uh, an important skill that was recommended to us called ineptitude. It kind of perfectly captures our essence of this playthrough, actually. <laughs> ineptitude. Uh, yeah, it was recommended to us. It's an illusion skill, which is kind of what we're using a lot of at the moment. And we have a little bit of a journey to go through. Uh, we gotta go through... Not Frozen Forest, I don't think. We gotta go through Spearhead Peak. Yeah, and it's somewhere up here. Uh, so I'm still using... I'm, I'm still gonna use Illusionary Weaponry for now. But I'm gonna use... I'm gonna switch over to an Ineptitude build. For the uh, first Ring of Fire mission. Should be fun. Alright, let's go. These areas are actually... The explorable areas in the Southern Shipper Peaks are really pretty tough. Mainly because of all of the bursty elementalist craziness that happens here. Uh, oh, I don't have any sound for some reason. Hold on. There we go. That's better. Should have used that before I started the battle. There we go. I think illusionary weaponry, like, look, I'm not taking that much damage actually. 30 damage, 12 damage. And that was before I had protection spells. So that was kind of one of my questions last video was, is the armor really helping us that much? And at least against these ice imps, I would say, yeah, it definitely is. We brought our capture signet, but we shouldn't use it for anything on the way to ineptitude because I don't know if we if we fi happen to find a cool skill, we might we might use it here because I think we do have to go through um, Granite Citadel. Yeah, we're gonna stop in Granite Citadel anyway before we can get to the area where we can cap ineptitude i'm probably gonna skip like speed up these long stretches so bear with me okay before we go back to the ring of fire we came back to mineral springs by way of copper hammer mines through spearhead peak through granite citadel through tasca's to mind all the way to this small corner and uh, the Mesmer boss is one of the Tengu Avikara bosses. And it spawns in one of these locations in Mineral, well Mineral Springs. And it just happens to be all the way over here. But we found him. I found him eventually. And we're here to capture Ineptitude. Let's get it. Looks like there's some X removal. That's or enchantment removal. That's the big weakness of this build is if my enchantment gets removed, I'm pretty useless. I'm not sure what caused that. Finally, got ineptitude. We're going to be using this build in the uh, Ring of Fire. Let's see what it does. Elite Hex spell for four seconds. The next time the target foe or any adjacent foe attacks, they take 142 damage and are blinded for 10 seconds. So it's an AoE. Next time the target foe or any adjacent. So is it an AoE Hex? Yeah. An it's like an adjacent foe's hex to the target I'm casting it on. And it blinds and damages them 
like a really, really strong empathy spell. All right, we got it. We got it. What's over this way, though? Do I need to go over there? I don't think so. Let me explore a little bit, I guess. Pretty cool. I think that's... That's the mission area where the, uh... The, uh... Fear. The ice caves, right? The Iron Mines of Molodun. We fought some Mursat over there. We're just on the other side of this frozen lake. That's pretty cool. Okay. We're gonna go back to Ember Lake Camp. We did what we wanted to do. All right, we're gonna be running this Ineptitude build. See how it works in our first Ring of Fire mission. Um, let's just go ahead and go for it. We're trying to fit it into one episode. We actually need to not rush in here. That's what the dwarf is going to do. Oh, uh, it looks like we already aggroed them. So I guess we'll just fight them anyway. Not really a big deal. We kind of counter them pretty hard. Didn't mean to do that, but it is whatever. I mean, we're kind of just destroying them. All right, let them go if that's where they want to go. Okay. So this build is pretty sweet. Ineptitude is like a mixture between empathy and clumsiness. Actually, it's it's really it's really just a elite version of clumsiness that adds blind. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Empathy is more like, yeah, it's not really like empathy. This is actually my second attempt at this mission. Uh, we just tried it and we, there's kind of two routes you can take in this. You can take the main route, the full on frontal assault route or the back way. And I took the back way thinking it was gonna be kind of a walk in the park. And it was for the most part, but we got absolutely destroyed by lava imps. I might, I might keep it in the final version of this video or like cut to it really quick because it was real bad the way it played out. I think this time we're going to try just the frontal assault. I think with just careful aggro, I think it'll be fine. I mean, we're, oh, I mean, these Mur these Mursat aren't really doing any damage to us. Problem is these ether seals, they they take all your energy away. So we need to just take out these ads first. Yeah. Actually, illusionary weaponry weaponry would be good for these uh, sections. We can just cast the enchantments and then just run in there. And chunk, chunk down the uh, ether seal real quick. But we want to use. Oops, don't need to cast that spell. We want to use ineptitude. That's the, that's the whole point. We just captured it. We want to try it out. It does some insane damage. That's for sure. All right, let's move in. And even though it is like a constructed, uh, it's a construct. It does take some. Yeah, it does take some conditions there. Like deep wound and blind. Oh, it, it triggers our fragility. 
This build is really good at dealing damage. It's really good at countering attackers. And it has, thanks to Arcane Conundrum, it's really good against casters. We're kind of a double threat here. I didn't bring any interrupt skills because I just feel like it's kind of a waste. Instead of using like power drain or leaf signet for energy uh, management, we're using lift of lesser energy. I feel like it's a little more reliable. And it basically gives you two free casts for your spells. Should have um, cleared up my inventory, but I did not. We have a lot of materials we can sell. We can get a lot of money that way. point of casting of bringing epidemic i'm finding out but we already use a lot of aoe conditions hmm oops autopilot don't need to cast arcane conundrum on stupid edkins nice yeah aiden uses incendiary arrows really good for a fragility build aoe uh conditions oventina the matron the monk boss what an interesting name oventina So to fight these things, we need to stay, keep our healers out of range of the energy drain and then try our best to aggro them, bring them back out. Oh, they're fighting the Etten. Maybe we should run in. Ow. Let's move back. Now we can fight him. A lot of times you just need to disengage to try and get them in a posi better posi position to fight. But I don't always need to just rush in and try and steamroll the enemy. And next are the bow. And then we'll do the ether seal last. go mm. it would have been nice to bring another warrior for these ether seals actually I'm realizing should be okay but they counter magic pretty well Okay, so this is where we have the choice of direct frontal assault or going the roundabout path. We're going to go direct frontal assault. Just we find another 
the volcano. Beyond who are they fighting just we then? Are growing close. The Mursat have no intention of allowing us to reach our goal. Huh. Yeah, they were like in the middle of a battle. I didn't get to see the enemies. I feel like most people do the frontal assaults. One, it's shorter, and two, it's the back path is not necessarily any easier. As we found out in our last attempt. Yeah, there's some bodies down there. Oh, who are they fighting? Field of deflection. I was looking up that ability. It's I don't understand how it's an elite skill. It doesn't seem very good at all. Yeah, clump up. Arcane Conundrum. Perfect. Ooh, a scroll of Rampazer's Insights. We pick it up. Um, we got some space. Okay, we need to be careful here. What we're going to do is take the high ground. I'm going to try and aggro the enemies in range of my... Uh, they seem to be too far. I'm going to keep them up on this cliff, and I'm going to come down and try and aggro them in range of my henchmen. See if this works. Yeah, this is gonna work. There we go, a little closer. <laughs> a little closer. Okay, got him. Got that guy real quick. There we go. Arcane Conundrum is really good for the casters. It gives my teammates plenty of time to interrupt. Okay, so far so good. I think I can keep them up there and do that same thing again, actually. One more team here. Yeah, just careful. All you really need is just careful um, aggro. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Keyword on careful aggro. Okay, I'm okay. Just a flesh wound. Okay, I don't need them to- I don't need my henchmen to be that far, I guess. Try that again. Go. Oof. Okay, this is a this is a little bit stress more stressful than the back way. Just because yeah, they can kind of blow us up with their mind flames or whatever, mind burns. And we are kind of squishy. We got it. We got it. Come on. Take him down. Almost. Okay. Good job, Tom.
Get our energy back. Speed up this time a little bit. Going down, buddy. Two more up here, though, and they're right next to each other. What's the bonus on this, actually? I don't know what the bonus is. Energy regain. Thank you, Eve. Oh, these these seals do not have a energy drain. Oh, these are going to be no problem. Oh, they do cast spells though. That could be a problem. No, we're good. Okay, open the main gate to the Citadel Guardhouse. Check. Now open the main gate to the Citadel Guardhouse. Or we got access, now we're opening the main gate. I understand. Okay, same plan. We need to, wow, the goes all the way out here. My bow, I need to aggro those guys. But I don't wanna get blown up. Back. Got him. Back. Yes. Easy. back a little bit farther there we go suckers oops wrong spell why oh i'm weakened so my skill does 10 less damage still 135 damage is not too shabby okay now there's a boss there. I think I need to aggro him now. Especially while he's up this close. Alright, come on. He's coming. Very good. It's all going according to plan. Should get a nice death penalty reduction. And okay, now we're gonna move in here. Got this guy. Oh, I'm dead. Run back. Four. Oof. We aggro to more enemies. He may lost all their their mana, I guess. My henchman did. Where do these bows come from, though? Interesting. I thought it was clear. Okay. Take that out. Taking any damage. Hmm. 
how do we do this? Uh, Om is just still attacking that thing. Um, you're just gonna st He's gonna- there you go. Come on. <laughs> wow. He was bugged out. How do we do this? Let's try the right one first then, I guess. We can run like all the way back there, maybe. Should be a plan. Yes, got through. Actually, don't need to fight those things. I don't think we can just. Yeah, we can just skip them. Why is my? for sure. Ooh, that was kind of scary. But Mursad are not really scary anymore, we realize. We're infused. No problem for us. You don't need to kill those ether seals. We can just run right past it. Good to know. Last bit of damage, please. Why is he taking no damage? Here we go. What does he have? Thunderclap or something? We're not gonna take that yet. Okay, clear the guardhouse of Morsat. And now. Okay. Yeah, we just gained access. We opened the main gate to the guardhouse. Now we gotta clear the guardhouse. We got a hammer here. What is it? Where you at? Really cool. The Mursat, Mursat hammers are so cool looking. One of the coolest hammer skins in the game. And then we got some runes. Ah, we're out of identification. Alright, so I think we need to go. Where do we need to go? Clear the guard house. Oh, we need to go this way then? Yeah. Odalin the displeased. So the back way, if we were to go, would have taken us through here, I think. I think it's about the same amount of time, honestly. The back way was long. Actually, I don't think I need to go this way.
Yeah, I don't need to come this way. I think we can just go across the bridge. Is this the Mesmer boss? I hope so. Yes, we're finally getting Energy Surge. Next mission, Energy Surge. Playthrough. Take him out. Don't let him get a spell off. Got energy surge. Wait. I think this is the end of the mission. Just about, right? Oh, meant to put that on him. There we go. Last bit. Clear the guardhouse. So where's the guardhouse? The lever. Oh, that that traps us in here. <laughs> Don't necessarily want to do that, but it doesn't really matter. I guess it'll ensure that no one comes behind us. The warrior boss here. All of the jade, it seems like all of the jade armor bosses all have the same name, Cairn. These guys going around in a circle, yeah. Oh, come on now. funny we actually as long as we have a monk on us we actually do enough damage to to take out all, all the enemies by ourselves whoops wrong spell keep fat fingering that arcane conundrum oh okay Finished it. Good job. Do not grieve for the fallen. They have passed into the next life. Wow, he's a, he's a really nice guy. Vizier Kilbron. Somewhere in the rim, within the Great Forge, Brechnar Ironhammer begins his long journey to the Hall of Heroes. He's not so bad. Godspeed on your journey, brave dwarf. May the heroes of old call out your name when you join their company. Brechnar has given us a gift. The gift of his life. Let us not squander it. The prophecy is upon us. We make for the teeth of Abaddon's mouth, for the door of Komali. All right, mission accomplished. What was the bonus? Huh. I'm gonna have to go back and do some of these. All right, here we are at Abaddon's Mouth. I think we have this mission and only one more. So these are the last two missions of the game. We have just about every skill we've want, we want in Prophecies, at least so far. Uh, next mission, we're gonna run Energy Surge, classic overpowered Mesmer 
uh, build. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for joining me. This was a really tough one. Uh, it's going to take me a while to edit it, I think, actually, because it took us a couple extra attempts than we expected. And uh, yeah, so I'll try and get it out ASAP. Anyway, thanks, y'all. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.